Guys, there are new figures for how the royals work and it might shock you. It really might shock you. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button, guys. It is daily and consistent content on this channel. 24 seven, click that button, subscribe, send a super thanks, thumbs up, comment down below and let's get into this video. So finances have been released. A report has been released. And a lot of this information, guys, might shock you about what the royals are getting paid and not by somebody above them getting paid by us, the taxpayers of the UK. And a lot of this information is very interesting indeed. I will definitely say that. Who? William has just carried out 172 engagements this entire year, which amounts to less than one month's full-time equivalent work. Kate did even less with just 123 engagements. Engagements last an average of one hour, although many are much shorter. The campaign group Republic points out that the country effectively pays Prince William over £127,000 per hour. The Duchy of Cornwall, which is a public asset owned by the Crown, will pay William an income of more than £22 million a year. Charles now receives a similar income from the Duchy of Lancaster, also a state asset. That means he is costing the country almost £52,000 an hour. Between the so-called working royals, the schedule adds up to just over six months of full-time work. What they do is not work though, in the normal sense of the word, and a substantial number of whatever their work is, is merely one hour engagements with, you know, near their main residences. Graham Smith, CEO of Republic, called the recent figures an absolute disgusting disgrace. William likes to claim he works hard, adding one issue after another to his list of missions. First he'll tackle Middle East peace, then the environment, and now homelessness. The truth is, he's barely working at all. It takes a deep sense of entitlement and a complete lack of serious scrutiny for William, Kate, and the others to take him to rake in multi-million pound fortunes to enjoy the status and privileges of the positions whilst doing so little. Anne is trumped as the most hardworking of them all, yet she only managed the equivalent of two months of work in 2023. Pathetic. This is one of the many reasons to ditch the monarchy, so we can have an accountable, serious and hardworking head of state who's on a decent salary and not being lavished with an opulent lifestyle at the expense of, at the, expense of the taxpayer. The royals claim the two duchies are private estates, yet they are the property of the crown and originate from the same place as the land held by the crown estate. The historic record is quite clear that these estates are only in the hands of Charles and William because Parliament allows that arrangement to continue, which is absolutely not fair in any regard. William gets £22 million from us per year, £127,000 per hour, and this man has barely worked the equivalent of a month per year we're just doing these engagements for a man to get paid 127 then 127,000 pounds per hour for somebody who's talking about climate change and homelessness he has done absolutely nothing in any of these regards and gets paid from us the hard-working civilians in the uk is pathetic disgusting and absolutely ridiculous ridiculous 127,000 pounds per hour Per hour, he's getting paid such a significant level of money for doing what for this country? This is what I mean by the royal family are professional scammers. They are scamming us right in front of our faces. This is daylight and nighttime robbery, 24 seven from the taxpayers. With the cost of living crisis, homelessness in the UK is at an all time high. Bills are rising every three to six months, yet they're getting paid a significant high salary from us as taxpayers. Why does the monarchy exist? It's absolute BS. It's pointless, it's pathetic. And all of these people within the monarchy are jealous self-serving fools like William, Kate and Charles. How many reports I've seen of Anne being the most hardworking royal? How many reports have I seen of William and them being the most hardworking royals and they're working one to two months per year and that is it. And their level of work guys is not nine to fives or you know constant work around the clock. Their level of work is doing one hour engagements of somewhere that's quite close to their residence. So their work is barely any work anyways. Why are they getting paid so much money from us? It, it, it doesn't make any sense, I don't understand. They're stealing from us, guys. I don't understand. We get angry at somebody in Sainsbury's or Tesco in the plight of winter who is stealing nappies or some extra food for their children. We look at them as disgusting criminals and how nasty they could be, but the royal family are stealing from us, literally from our own pockets, 24 seven and laughing in our faces. But yet we wanna be so angry at a mother stealing in Tesco or Sainsbury's for their own children because the bills are so expensive, they can't afford food and they need some type of money to help when it comes to their young ones. But the royal family are stealing right in front of our faces. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. If they're not trying to off Harry, like they allegedly off Diana, 
They're trying to steal from us 24 seven. And then you have Andrew over there doing stupid secret dealings with somebody related to Gaddafi or somebody related in Turkey or Epstein trying to take money or doing ridiculous, you know, nonce related stuff. The whole family is trash. Throw it in the bin, take the trash out. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this. So subscribe to the channel, click that button. I know I haven't given you guys any royal nuggets recently. Um, but I'll comment down below if there's any royal nuggets of stuff that you want me to discuss as well. But I wanted to just break this down so we can really get into the fact that, you know, they are stealing money right from our hands and our pockets and laughing in our faces. Subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. Click that button. It's just one click. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.